What's up guys and gals and welcome back to the Nerd Castle. Today we're gonna be playing some RimWorld because I feel like it. Because I feel like it. But as an additive bonus, I've got it on the Unstable branch right now, which is 1.0. Which is the release that's supposed to be coming out at some point this summer in a couple of months. Uh, it's the final version of RimWorld as far as Steam is concerned. There may be more stuff added to it or whatever, which I know sort of contravenes that. But this is supposed to be kind of the 1.0, the game is done version. If they add more, then they add more. Let's start out with a new colony. This is one of those games that I really enjoy, and I find it to be a lot of fun. And so we've got a couple different starts right here. But it's been a while since I played myself a crash-landed playthrough. So I'm going to do it. My last playthrough was Tribal. We'll put it on hard. I'll we'll put it on Cassandra Classic. I don't know if I feel like playing a Randy Random right now. Randy Random can be fun. But we'll we'll go with the we'll go with I honestly have never been able to I've never been able to tell the difference between Phoebe Chillax and Cassandra Classic in all honesty. Like these two have a lot of like bleed over and I haven't been able to figure out like what the difference is between the two. Like I still if I put it on like hard or extra hard on either one of these, I still get racked. And it says that right there. But like I thought that maybe like this one focuses more on environmental stuff, this one focuses more on combat, I don't know. We'll give it a go though. Uh, we're gonna put this on fifty. We're going to go back to our planet that we always play on, the Nerd Castle planet. Randomize that seed real fast. It'll probably be a good 10 minutes before we actually get started in-game with this playthrough, just because there's so much prep work we have to do. But I promise, it'll be okay. You just got to wait with me here, Nerd Castle. You just got to wait, and everything will be all right. All right, so our planet is crafted. Let's have a look at it. Let's see what we got going on here. I'm probably just going to pick a random spot, but this is a pretty, pretty populated little area. I don't know if I want to do anything crazy challenging today. We've already got the difficulty up, so it doesn't really matter to me. I did want to show off the new water wheels from 1.0, so it might be a good idea to be on a river somewhere. Might be a really good idea to be on a river. I mean, that's what we'll do. We'll kind of take a random site, and then we'll find a river nearby, and we'll live on that. I like that spot. That spot's not bad. It gives us travel It gives us travel opportunities. Uh, here we have a growing period that's 30 to 60 days, the 6th of April May to the 6th of September. It's going to be pretty it's going to be pretty hot. It's going to be it's going to be hot, cold. We should get a nice variety of everything that we want to deal with here. We don't have a lot of stone around, so there's not going to be a lot of mining opportunities. We're not going to be able to make ourselves an indoor base, which I think makes the game a little bit more interesting and challenging. But I, I think it's a place that we can work with. Let's get to work making some of our colonists here. We've got a cook, a constructor, a planter. He's got two cataracts. I don't want to play around with cataracts right now. I have to put cyber eyes into somebody before we even get started. That's always a problem. Uh, let's see. I think we found our first character. This guy can't do really anything right there, but he is pretty good in all other regards. Uh, he's great at shooting. He's a space trafficking farmhand. His name is Trev. Sounds good to me. He's a little top-heavy. That works for me, though. He had, what, social abilities, too? That's good. The next person that I want to have is going to be somebody that has medical skill. Somebody that's very, very... Ooh, that might be our winner right there. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. Loco the surgeon. He was a shopkeeper, and then he became a surgeon. And then this person can really be whatever. We kind of have everything we need already. Uh, an upgraded planter would be really, really nice. Like, somebody that's got, like, really good herb skills would be really cool. But, I mean... If we find somebody that's just all around good at everything, or good at certain things like shooting, I would take that too. It's a pretty solid character right there, but he's violent and he's social? Oh, he can't do violence and social. Okay. Staggeringly ugly. Why is it that they can't do that? Probably because of his background. Kind of a bummer. I like that character too. I was looking for eight or higher in planting. That's pretty good. That's not bad. He's going to be in constant pain, which is a bummer. Because he's got stab scars and he's got a frail torso. But he's not bad. He's not bad at all. He can't do, or she can't do anything violent. Which makes her a bit of a liability. But we can use her... Let's do it. Sorry about that. My cat is being super aggressive about getting up on the desk right now. I'm battling with my cat at the moment because he just won't stop. So if you hear any whumpings or lumping sounds in the recording, it's because my cat is attacking my mic stand and trying to get up on top of it. And if I put him outside the room, he screams his ass off and it comes through on the recording too. So it's like, you can't win if you tried. And we've already got a shelter over there. That's actually not a bad spot either. Let's have a look around the map though and see what we got going for us. We've got a little bit of extra steel right there. I will tell them to pick that up at one point or another. 
Uh, this location's got a good steel supply that'll last us well into the mid-game. So I don't think there's any... Uh, there's not too much of a consideration to be made where we want to make our base. It's going to be right here. We've got a free building on top of a bunch of other stuff. And so what I'll do is, since we got a free building right there, a free well-insulated building, by the way, we'll go ahead and get that started. We'll haul out the rocks while we can. Let's go ahead and grab some of these goodies right here. And we'll start marking them off as being okay. Uh, we start out with flak jackets and armor now, which is pretty cool. You didn't start with that before. And we got a hunter that doesn't have a ranged weapon. This guy over here isn't super good at shooting. So I'll give him the revolver so he can put more rounds downfield. However, Treb is pretty good at shooting. So I'll have him grab the rifle real quick before we go any further. Aside from that, other jobs that need to get done while I'm setting up priorities and fixing things and making things happen. Chop down trees, this is. Chop down trees, this is. And then put in a bed right there. And then we will unpause the game. We will put it on middle speed. And we'll get started with our assignments here. Uh, Recreation-wise, let's have four hours of recreation right there. Looks good. I'm going to put two hours of anything right there, just in case they don't want to sleep through. And I'm kind of just playing around with new ideas right now. I play a lot of RimWorld, and so each time I play, I try to try something new. And those little gray blocks are the new something that I'm trying right now. And uh, they've messed that up. That's okay. They're going to mess things up from time to time. Let's go ahead and get our priorities set up. Uh, the game uses a priority system based on what people are good or bad at. We'll have a backup doctor right there. And one is the highest priority. Four is the lowest priority for the activities that you're trying to get done if you've never seen this game before. I know most people at this point probably know about RimWorld. But, you know, who's the worst at this over here? Six. I'll take you off of it. I don't need you on that right now. We've got cooking. We've got a little bit of hunting right there. We've got a little bit of constructing on all sides. Everybody has a passion for it, so I see no reason why we shouldn't have that. We'll go with growing. We'll go with mining. Man, we got actually a pretty well-rounded squad right now. They're going to have trouble getting some of our work orders done, and we don't have anybody that's particularly good at research. But we'll make it work for while we're here. They're chopping down trees and getting stuff going right now. I'm going to have a second structure built so that we have another place to live. Because if they don't have their own houses, they tend to get a little bit salty about it. So there we go. We'll slap a house in right there. I love the music in this game. If I ever mention that, the soundtrack is just absolutely awesome. Love it. Sets the whole western tone and makes the game more enjoyable to play. And from there, there's not a whole lot more stuff to work on for the first day. My recommendation for what you should work on in the first day is to get houses set up and make sure that people are sleeping inside. Otherwise, they get very, very upset very quickly and mental breaks become a real problem. That house is done. We'll set up furniture right there. Bow. Good. There's our second bed. Uh, we'll try to get a fourth and a fifth house set up before too long so that we have places to be. I'm going to set this place up kind of lackadaisical and messy. Because, honestly, we're playing on hard right now, which means the game is going to get us at some point. It's going to get us at one point or another, so there's really no reason to set up with crazy plans in mind. Hopefully somebody go build that bed before nightfall. Perfect. And then the final thing we need is a horseshoe pin down here. I prefer the hoop stick. If you play the tribal guys, they have a hoop stick that they can play around with, and I love the hoop stick. It gives you a ton of recreation. A bunch of people can play hoop stick with each other, and it's cool watching them run around play hoop stick. But uh, can I say hoop stick a few more times than that? I don't know if I can fit the words hoop stick in many more times. Uh, they're cleaning up. That means they have nothing else to do for the day, which is great. Let's set up a dumping stockpile kind of behind this mountain for right now so that if we get any dead bodies or whatever else, they'll take them back there. And it also gets the rocks out of this guy's house, so he gets a bonus to his mood for sleeping inside of a good place. Let's go ahead and drop some floors in right here. I don't know if we have enough wood for that, but hey, it's worth a try. We'll give it a go. We've also started out with a Labrador Retriever, which is actually a pretty useful little animal right there. I actually want the rock, if you can do that for me. Bring me Dwayne. Bring me the Dwaynes and put them inside of our dumping stockpiles right now. There we go. Dwaynes have been accomplished. At the bare minimum, we have places to sleep right now, which is really all you have to worry about for the first day. Uh, their rest is probably... I'm going to keep an eye on them. I mean, so for their first day, their resting needs are going to be kind of all right. But we'll see right about the time they get up, and we'll allocate more or less rest based on what I feel like they need right now. They've got anything time blocks in their in their workflow right there. So they should do whatever they need right here, including an up to sleep. So they'll take the extra sleep if they need it, and they won't take the extra sleep if they don't need it. At least in theory, that's how it should work. But sometimes your little Rimworldians can be kind of dumb, and so you never know. Sometimes they do really, really stupid stuff. How is their recreation going? Their recreation is looking... 
pretty good to me. We shouldn't have any crazy mental breaks, I don't think. Uh, the big thing that we want to get done today is planting. That's going to be the huge thing that we want to get done. We want to decide where we want to put that. I think I'm going to put it on the opposite side of the road so it's out of the way. So we'll go with some 8x8s right here. Rice, potatoes. That's going to be our foodstuffs for right now. Uh, we'll go for a little kind of 6x6 right there for marijuana. 7x7 right there for cotton. 7x7 right there for maybe another filler crop like cotton. And then we'll put that right there. And so we've got weed. We have... Let's go with cotton over here. Where's my cotton at? Right here, we're going to go with some heel root. Right here, we're going to go with some corn. I don't know if we'll have time to grow it before the winter gets here, but we're going to try real hard. We'll have potatoes, and then we'll have rice. And that should be good enough. It's probably going to take them a considerable amount of time to get that done. Like, if that does not take all day, I don't know RimWorld. But it is a very important thing to get done early on in your little adventure. This stuff that's sitting in the river right here is going to be degrading pretty rapidly. So, degrading. These people should all jump in, though, and help out with this. And I'm pretty sure everybody, even if they're not good at it, has a passion for it. So this is helping out our mood on top of just kind of getting done. And actually, everybody's reasonably decent. They're all good at plants. So this might actually not take all day. I don't know. It's noon right now. And they've got one field done. But the rice will be a little bit faster. We do have some trees to chop down along the way. So we'll see. If nothing else, this is a great opportunity for them to get some extra XP in something that they're going to be doing a lot of anyways. And honestly, getting at least a couple people up to like 12 plants in the early game is a really good idea. Because that means that they'll be able to sow the fields almost by themselves as you're playing the game. And it should work out reasonably well, in my opinion. Reasonably well. We've almost got the rice field done. Eh, it's possible they might not actually get it done. I was hoping that with our, our really good planting skills, they would get it done here today. But it might take a couple days to get done. Yeah, we did have a lot of trees in the area, I guess. That's okay. They'll finish the fields off tomorrow. I, I normally don't like to have big breaks in my fields. I like them to get it all done in one big go. Because then you don't have like weird harvests that take two or three days that constantly bother people and make them keep working on things. I think we only have one guy who's actually good enough at plants... To plant the medical crops down here. He's getting closer. But I doubt he'll get there in time. So what I'll do is let's set up a little stockpile building over here. Where we can do some do some crafting. Some storage. Stuff like that. And we'll put this right down here next to We want to give this a little bit of space and respect. Because. That's going to be. Where we put a great number of windmills. Or water mills. For our stuff. We'll go ahead and drop floors in on here. Uh, one side of this is going to be our refrigerator. The other side is going to be our storage. So we'll designate that now because everybody's sleeping anyways and there's nothing better to do. So give me my stockpile, please. There we go. Uh, this is going to be for everything that's not raw resources, excluding plant matter. So put that in there. Plant matter actually needs to be roofed off. And if you don't roof it off, it's going to become an issue for you. This room right here is going to have all of our crafting and all of our production buildings. I think that should be a nice thing to have as we try to work our way through the game. We'll put in some butcher benches over here and some other little things. We should have enough food to last us a couple more days. I'm hoping only one person goes and works on this, but there's no way to guarantee that that's going to happen. So, let's take you off of it so at least somebody is planting. That's all I really care about. As long as somebody is planting, I don't care. She's soaking wet. That should only last for a couple hours, though, before her clothing dries. Uh, she'll go work on that right there. Hopefully finish off those fields today. Is she the person that's really good at plants? Good. That means she can work her way through while this gets done over here. And everything should be all right. We're going to haul those. Uh, we're going to try, actually. Let me zoom in real close. And we're going to haul all of those out when we get a chance so that we don't have an ugly workspace because that does affect people's moods as well. Making sure we don't get mental breaks on higher difficulties is going to be... A major point of pride for us and something we're going to want to focus on. They're getting the maze planted right over there. That's really, really good. And then with this refrigeration unit right here, the other thing that we might want to do is we're going to try and piece together something sexy over on this side. Don't worry too much. This stuff is not going to rot before we get it to storage. It can, out, it can sit out there for a good five or six days. It's really not a big problem. How's the field going over here? 
Ivy, being aptly named, is doing her best to get this done. She's 60 years old, and so she spent nine years in cryo sleep. How old are you, Trev? Trev is 93 years old, although technically he's biologically 26 years old because he was in cryo sleep for, you know, 80 whatever years. Uh, this guy's been almost asleep for a millennium. Good lord. That dude's almost a thousand years old. He woke up in a completely different time period and technological period than he went to sleep. That's kind of wild to think about. Like, what if he went to sleep for a thousand years? I would only go to sleep for a thousand years if my wife could come too. I don't want to be in the future alone being some kind of weird Cro-Magnon throwback that everybody's going to ogle act like. I, I don't want to be a history piece, you know what I mean? It's not what I'm trying to do. I need somebody to keep me company along the way. Uh, now that that's done, the other thing that we can focus on for right now is we can go to our power solutions. We want windmill generators, and we want them badly. We're going to put in two for right now. One right there and one right there. Whether or not we're going to be able to roof this off and run the power conduits remains to be seen, but these provide us with 1.1 kilowatts of power, which is enough. 2200 will be good enough until we get to hydroponics. Once we get to hydroponics, we'll have to make little adjustments as to what we're trying to accomplish, but up until then, shouldn't be a big issue. We got some wood on that side, 287. We may not have the wood supplies that we need in order to get both of them done might become a problem. Everybody's taking a little nappy poo right now, though, so no big problem. We've also got a visitor right now who came from one of the neighboring tribes, and he's just checking out all of our stuff, deciding if he wants to be friends or not. If he decides he wants to be friends, cool, there will be peace in the kingdom. If he decides he wants to be enemies, I will rain down upon him with violence and vigor. And he must decide. He must decide. If we get very lucky. So, what should our faction be called? Well, obviously, the Nerd Castle. And then, what should our community be called? We're going to call them the High Dunians. Perfect. Looks good to me. Hopefully the High Dunians have a long reign. I mean, it's possible we'll get toxic fallout in the next couple days and it'll kill us instantaneously. But, you never know with this game. You never noses. Okay, y'all got work to do, so don't be sitting around. Get it done. You have things to accomplish. So I don't want to see y'all chillaxing. Chilling out racks or you know chilling out max and relaxing all cool and then shooting some b-ball outside of the school get the stuff done uh, We need a butcher table. We're going to need a Electric stove won't be useful right now, but it'll be useful later. We're gonna need a research table We're going to need ah, we can wait on the stone cutters table. We got lots of wood uh, We can go with an electric tailors bench right there, and we can go with a sculptors table right there looks good That's gonna use up a lot of our wood supplies so we may have to chop down a few more buildings. There's our first water mill right there. What we'll want to do to make sure that we don't end up with electrical discharges, uh, because those are exactly as fun as they sound, we're going to put that right there. And then we're going to put in a wood wall right here, just to hold up the roof. And then we will build another roof going over to here and to right there, like so. And then once this is all nice and constructed, we'll run these wires and we'll get this stuff all taken care of. But we're going to want this entire area to sort of be a roof zone if we can make it happen. Just so we can run wires safely without getting ourselves into too much trouble. And as we expand, we'll make it happen. we got a mad rabbit coming on in. Where's his ass at? I don't think she's capable of violence, right? So somebody else is going to have to come and save her ass before she gets bit by a, a few too many wabbits out here in the field. Perfect. One shot, one kill. Nice job, Trev. Nice job. Uh, is she our doctor? She's got level 5. She'll have to go and get herself some medical treatment then, and that's going to kind of use up some of our medical supplies. A little bit of a bummer, but, you know, unforeseen things happen in this game. Unforeseen things happen. Now that they're getting the roofs all up and taken care of, ooh, it's going to be nice and shady over here. It's going to be great. You know how we do it at the Nerd Castle. We keep it shady. We keep it shady, living crazy on the 80 out here in the Ace, the East Bay. That's how we that's how I do our thing. Did you guys get to her patched up? Good. Fantastic to see. Used up a little bit of our medical supplies, but no harm, no foul. As far as our raw resources, we can basically just drop those out in the middle over here. No big harm and no big foul. Uh, it'll be I'm actually going to shrink this zone right here. Let's make this a little bit smaller. We're not gonna need that much space right there because it's gonna be holding a very select grouping of objects. No food, no manufactured, raw resources right there. And then remember, we don't want plant matter to go in there. We want plant matter to go in the refrigerator. The refrigerator. We have a minor break risk right here. We're going to investigate and see why that is. Uh, probably due to rest, mostly. Probably due to rest. 
It is a little chilly outside. But I'm of the opinion that once her rest gets better, it should take her outside the break threshold. And we shouldn't have to worry about it too much. It's going to keep her comfort levels nice and evened out too. And once we get some light bulbs run, everything's going to be okay. Let's take some power over here. Power. Power. There we go. We'll run that over to there. Get this stuff all ready for the infrastructure that we're going to have very shortly. It's going to cost us a little bit of our steel, but that's okay. Other things that we need to get done is we need that other water mill to get done. If we can't get that water wheel to get done, we're going to have a little bit of struggle going for us. But as far as start outs go, we're doing all right right now. This is a pretty, this is a pretty solid start. As far as growing goes, everybody is on growing, so they should finish off the fields over here. Although she's the only one that's trying to get heel root done at the moment. So that's okay. Everybody else should wake up, though, and they should have lots and lots of fun things to get done. Our restrictions, they should be doing a little bit of that over there. Since they have an anything period right there, I may cut back on this recreation and turn it into work. Because honestly, they can fill in and do what they want to do. We're going to try and refrigerate this pretty soon as well. No promises, though. How's your how's your plant growing going? You're at level 10? Fantastic. Sounds good. She's a skilled professional farmer. Great. That's exactly what I needed to know. Y'all run them wires right there. Get it going. We got our tailor's benches. We got our production rocking. It's looking like a good day right now. We're going to rock down to a bunch of food for you. Awesome. So the power grid has been officially run. They're messing up some of the construction jobs over here, but it's going to happen from time to time. Now that they're all settled in right there, let's go ahead and butch out a few more trees. The more wood we have, the happier a camper I shall be. So we're going to keep that as kind of a side job for right now. My guess is that we have no wood for this right now. And that would explain tangibly why it's not being built. There goes our roof right there. Uh, food supply may hold out for a little bit longer, but it's also entirely plausible that we, we may need to get ourselves a little bit of hunting going on. So do that forever. And then cook simple meals until we have 10. And then we're going to hunt that turkey right there. We are going to really hunt anything around that walks, flies, or otherwise huddles in the forest. We're going to get rid of it all. Go get that turkey right there. Go get that raccoon. Raccoon does not make for a good meal, but I'm willing to make an exception in this regard because I'm trying to get fed. Uh, who do we have on cook duty right now? Cook duty has been left to... Looks like Ivy, our taxonomist. Okay. Not to be confused with taphonomists. Very, very different things. Uh, taxonomist is... A taxonomist names things that you find, essentially. Taxonomy, if you don't know what taxonomy is, it's the Latin names for animals. Taphonomy is the study of what happens to a corpse after it dies. Uh, animals in general. Usually used for archaeology and paleontology is how that's regarded. A taxonomist by... Well, I mean, I don't know, man. Taxonomy is how you name things, though. Just keep that in mind. It didn't say she's a taxidermist. It says a taxonomist. So I'm going to assume that they're using the literal meaning right there, which means that she studies the naming structures of ancient animals, ancient things, stuff like that in Latin. Funsies. Nothing more fun than an afternoon spent speaking Latin. Fun, 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 fun. The roof might interfere with this over here as a point of contention. Sometimes if you build the roof before this is actually done, they won't build it. And then you can build the roof afterwards, and it should hold up just fine. Kill that rabbit right there. Oh, we got food. We got six package survival meals. Oh, we actually have a, a reasonable amount of food. It's not too bad. Uh, we got a minor break risk on somebody. It's mostly because they're picking stuff up out of the water and it's giving them a, a passive nerf to their mood. We can fix it, though. We just have to give them enough positive things to where they're happy again. That's been built. That's great. I just need to see this get run over to here, and I will be an uber-happy camper. Well, I mean, I want you to carve up the turkeys if you can. 
Don't waste them in the stockpile. Like, that's definitely not something that I want to see for right now. They really should bleed the animals outside. It's one of those things that I know it's part of the butcher table, but in general, most animals, you hang them for a little bit after you slit the throat, after you hunt them. You hang them from a tree, you hang them from a fence, you hang them from wherever. Uh, keep animals away from them and everything else. Oh, we got an early game raid. That'll be fun to deal with. I don't have a prison up yet, so... Uh, where are they coming from? Are they attacking instantly, or are they waiting... Looks like Justin over here is going to dither for a little bit. He's a pretty good warrior, and we could definitely use another warrior. We could make him a designated cook so that nobody else cooks except for him. And pretty much just use him to protect the territory if we can capture him. And that's a big if. I'm going to go ahead and flip that over real fast. We'll see if somebody will make a second bed down here before things fall apart. Nice. Perfect. That could not have worked out better. Sometimes they don't get the bed done, and there won't be enough sleeping spots for everybody, and they'll get a little bit upset about the fact that they don't have a bed for themselves. We may run into a bit of an issue right now. Restricting this, give them two more hours of sleep, because they are going to be tired after this raid. In addition, give them anything time all day tomorrow, and then we'll copy in a week. Hold on. Give them anything time over here. I messed that up. My cat jumped onto my chair and it made my cursor move. Uh, we'll go ahead and put these right here. We'll let them do whatever they want tomorrow as long as they keep their mood up. Because they're going to be up all night fighting this raid. And so that's going to negatively affect moods pretty quickly. Uh, get people lined up and ready to fight. Hopefully we knock him out. We don't kill him. Well, he's taking a little bit of damage. Ah, you killed him. You killed the poor bastard. Oh, well. I wanted another warrior. That's what I was going for, because if we could craft, like, a longbow or something like that for him, he'd be a lot better. But, ah, bad luck with the shooties. Bad luck with the shooties. Uh, we'll go ahead and uninstall that, and then we'll convert that back to a normal bed, and tomorrow should be kind of interesting. They killed a guy, so my assumption is that they're going to be a little upset about it. Right here, don't put animal corpses in here, please. Uh, don't put those in there, because I don't want people going back over here and seeing dead bodies in a little bit, if that's going to be a problem. This is RimWorld 1.0. I hope you guys have been enjoying our playthrough. I will see you all later. Leave a like on this video if you enjoyed it. Other than that, you can get the game down below if you really, really want to, to support the developer. Hi, do, and I'll see you next time, everybody.